when I get ready in the morning, I look at my calendar and kind of see what's going on for the day and dress accordingly. I think most guys do that. And so for some days, that means a suit and a tie. For other days, it might mean going golfing and wearing, you know, golf attire. Or maybe it's chopping down a tree. You want to wear, you want to wear a tux for that. It all just kind of depends. And we want to make sure that the clothing we're wearing helps us, helps us accomplish what we're trying to accomplish that day. And I think most guys, with suits, it's easy. Every guy knows how to wear a t-shirt and shorts. It's when they want to dress up more than business casual, more than just a, a shirt and a pair of slacks, maybe going out to a nice dinner with their wife, maybe a business meeting but not requiring a suit. And so that's when it might make sense to lose a tie. And now when you lose a tie, it gets tricky. First of all, I usually, usually suggest if a guy wants to wear a jacket without a tie, wear a sport coat. A sport coat is where the pants and the jacket are a different material. But maybe they want to wear a suit. Maybe they just want to wear a suit without a tie that it's too hot outside, or maybe they just don't want to. They're traveling, they don't want to pack a bunch. And that's fine, but there's some pitfalls we want to avoid. I'll kind of show you what they are. Basically, what we don't want to happen is you wear, you soap the office one day, you're wearing the exact same thing you wore two weeks ago, the same suit, the same shirt, just without a tie today. And that can kind of give the impression of people thinking, why isn't he wearing a tie? Did, did he forget his tie? Maybe he doesn't know how to tie a tie. Or maybe his shirts are too tight and he can't button his collar and wear a tie. You know, those are all looks we don't, that's not the impression we want to give. Most guys, we want to give the impression we go places like, hey, look sharp. And that's about it. So you can do that without a tie. There's just some kind of rules to follow here. And it starts with, with figuring out what is a tie for. A tie doesn't do anything. It doesn't accomplish anything besides adding some interest to the garment. It's kind of like flavoring for, for food, some seasoning, some spices for food. So a meal without any salt, any pepper, any seasoning is going to be pretty bland. The salt and the pepper, that all adds the interest. And that's what the tie does or other accessories. So if we're not going to be wearing a tie, we probably want to think about either adding some accessories or making sure what we're wearing is interesting enough it doesn't need accessories. Okay. So for example, here is a suit and a shirt and a tie. Looks great. Without a tie, it now looks kind of incomplete. So that's what we want to avoid, is an incomplete look. The way you get around this with wearing a suit without, with a, without a tie, maybe it means a pocket square. So you can wear a pocket square. This one doesn't really go with this, this shirt, but that's what it adds some interest to it. It might mean wearing cufflinks, some cool socks. Um, not everything. We don't want to add a pocket square, socks, tie bar, uh, all cufflinks. It, that will become over-seasoned and nasty, right? So we want to just add a little bit of seasoning. Now, if we don't want to wear um, too much seasoning, the other way of doing it is making sure the shirt or the suit is interesting enough to carry it its own. So, for example, over here, I have a shirt that's a purple check shirt. And with this suit, the shirt is interesting enough that it looks like, oh yeah, he knows what he's doing. Especially at a pocket square there. This is a home run look, even though it's a suit without a tie. So that's a good example of a basic suit but using a shirt to kind of liven it up. We can do the same thing. The inverse of that is if we use an inherently interesting suit with a more basic shirt. So over here, we have a suit that's a big, bold plaid, pretty cool, and just a solid pink shirt underneath. So that looks great. Once again, I would really probably suggest adding a pocket square to kind of complete the outfit and give that, um, give that sharp look there. So that's, that's about it. Those are my tips there. Um, again, if you are wearing a shirt without a tie, make sure you wear those magnetic collar stays, things we talked about in, in one of the past videos that will keep your collar under control, keep it from trying to escape and fly away.